everyone, this is Lori from lauriethayer.com. Um, today I wanted to talk about an idea that you should consider when you give gifts. And um, kind of had the idea that I should do this as Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Um, so that kind of inspired me. But, you know, we give gifts for, to people all year long for anniversaries, for Christmas, for birthdays, you know, many different things. And uh, this is the concept of actually using um, Gary Chapman's five love languages as a consideration when you choose a gift from, for somebody. Because when you're giving a gift, um, you know, ask yourself if you're giving it for you or for them. Now, sometimes you may be giving it just uh, for the pleasure for yourself, but you actually want them to really love and enjoy the gift. Um, if you understand the person who you are giving the gift to and and really use that um, when you're thinking about what they would like, you know, they're going to just be much happier with the gift. They'll love it. You know, you can you can really touch somebody with, with a gift you give them. It's pretty amazing the impact it can have. Uh, so anyway, Gary Chapman's Five Love Languages... Um, is really about, and I, I'm not an expert, um, I've listened to the book, um, but I just, I love the concept, and I think it's something we should all consider a little bit more. I actually should learn more about it, more details, there's there's a lot to learn, he's written quite a few books on, on different aspects of this. But anyway, the if you go to his, his website, fivelovelanguages.com, you can take a quiz and figure out what your love language is, have your partner or spouse take theirs, he actually has it, so like you can have your kids take theirs, your teenager, um, and then a lot kind of help you all understand each other a little bit better. But so the five love languages are, and you can find this on his website, are words of affirmation. So that's going to be somebody who needs to hear that you love them. They need to hear you say it. Um, the next is quality time. So it's kind of spending that quality time together. Third is receiving gifts, and it doesn't have to be large gifts. It could be, you know, small, little, thoughtful gifts. That's what really makes them feel loved. The fourth is acts of service. So I I would guess that um, more men tend to show love this way, you know, like they'll, they'll, you know, go fill your car up or they'll mow the lawn. And these are little things that they're doing to show their love. They're trying to do things and make things easier. Um, but I'm sure there's plenty of women who, who have this love language as well. And then the last one is physical touch. So those who, you know, want hugs a lot, you know, they need those kisses every day. You know, they just a pat on the arm and that, that physical touch. So I really think when you're giving a gift to somebody, especially for a close family member, your romantic partner, you know, your child, your parent, uh, you should really try and identify what is their love language. And you may just need to think back on previous experiences you've had with them. You know, it's like, oh, what gifts did I, have I given them before that they've really loved? And what hasn't worked out so well? Um, one of the great examples I have is my father is a very difficult um, person for me to give a gift to. Is He just doesn't really like stuff a lot. He is a work with his hands kind of guy, and he's a doer. And I have always struggled since I was a child with finding gifts for him. <laughs> One of the gifts that was the most successful that I ever gave him was actually a digital photo frame. And the photo frame itself was not what was valuable in the gift. It was the fact that I had actually gotten an album of photos of his from quite a few years back. And I had scanned those in, and then I put them on the little SD card and had that with the the photo frame for him. So, you know, it was ready to go for him. All he had to do was plug it in, turn it on, put in the card, and he didn't know that those photos would be there. You know, and these are, we often have these photos from pre-digital age that we don't really look at that often. And that really meant a lot to him. And I know even now, it's at least five years later, that gift still means a lot to him. And you know, for him, I think it's it's partly it's the seeing those times and remembering, and it's the thoughtfulness. So he may be an acts of service kind of one. It's interesting, but but so think a little bit about what love language the person you're giving a gift. You know, what is their love language? What type of gift would they 
would really make them feel special and feel happy because it's it's about the person you're giving a gift to, not about yourself. So check that out, maybe for this Valentine's Day season or, you know, the next birthday or anniversary that you are giving a gift to somebody for. Bye. Oh, for more great tips, visit me at lauriethayer.com.